Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Juan Mata card to review. Gameplay objective card. We're taking a look at a card who is five foot seven, medium, medium work rates, left footed, four star skills, three star weak foot. So uh, no weak foot improvement on the card and the skill moves. I'm pretty sure is the same thing too, right? Yes, yeah, four star, three star still. So they're they're not uh, changing the skill moves and weak foots for some of these cards. Um, but yeah, with Juan Mata, guys, we have to give him the Hunter Chemistry style because of the way that the card is formatted, which is unfortunate because we can't really improve his long shots. Let me see something here. So player traits in game, he has the finesse shot traits and the solid player traits. See, I have a problem with that now because for me personally, if I was actually going to use this card in my team, it would be in the review, we do the striker position to test out attacking AI and stuff, right? But... It would be mainly in the cam position, and then I would sacrifice the pace to give him a hawk to make his shooting like that. But at the same time, the finishing is in a strange area to be able to utilize a finesse shot a little bit more. But he is a shorter player, so I'm curious to see how this is going to work without me improving it. It's a weird uh, situation here with this card, right? But the pace for now will be at a 99 acceleration, 92 for sprint speed. The shooting will be in a very good area with 99 attacking positioning, 96 for finishing, and a 98 for shot power. Uh, long shots not increased, though, which kind of isn't great. What about a finisher? Hunter, Hawk, Gladiator. Gladiator? <laughs> Gladiator, doesn't that give, like, defensive stats, too? Yeah, it's just the way that it's formatted for the long shots. A marksman. A marksman wouldn't be horrible. Short and lean. What a strange card. It's a strangely formatted card. I'll tell you that much, okay? But I just want to see him on the hunter first. Uh, passing on the card is going to be unbelievable, obviously. Very, very good. Doesn't have the uh, weak foot, but uh, not too big of a big deal. Uh, the dribbling we will be experimenting with because of that body type and height that he has. Definitely very interesting because agility is on the lower side. Such a straight, this is one of those ones, you know, it's one of those ones. Uh, defensive stats, he's got 80 heading accuracy. And then for physical, he's got, a, he's going to have an 85 for strength, 96 for stamina, 99. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll see what this card's like, man. We'll see. We'll see what he's like. Uh, -do 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 -do. Okay. We'll have him in the 3-5-2. Uh, this has to be switched like this, like that. Lucas Mora. Fabinho. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're going to have to do this because Trent will be playing over here. Let's switch him to the other side there to test out some things. Bang. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. That's one. And the four, one, two, and two. We could play him cam for this one, actually. Attacking oriented, and then you're the da, 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 da. Lucas Mora. Mm. Yeah, we'll do that instead. Okay, cool. Let's go try them out, guys. Oh, I was trying to go for like a quick shot cancel there. Oh, look, eh? Yeah, his um, his uh, dribbling needs to be improved. It needs to be improved. It feels really weird, man. Like I do shot cancels and stuff, and it just it has like it has like this weird thing to it. You see, he has like that sway on it. Oh, we don't score that. No way. Yeah, you could definitely tell his dribbling is like not great. He he does like even the just the turns, you know. Nice, good stuff. We'll take that. Oh, I tried to go for a first time strike upwards, did not work at all. 
we ended up scoring this uh, first goal with him in the beginning, where it was just kind of like just positioning, I guess. Uh, we crossed the ball here to the far post, and then he was just positioned uh, for the for the tap in. You can see that we shoot the ball here, right? I don't know. The registration is definitely not right because I'm telling you, I shot it way before that. Because why would I want to take a touch myself? I passed it and just shot it, and it's like it's still boosting it, you know. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, he scored three that game. I want to try him with a dribbling boost. I think this is gonna be one of those cards because if I give him, I, it might be an agility thing. Like I'm gonna give him a finisher. I'm gonna give him a finisher and just work with the acceleration as it is. And I wanna see, because I really feel like it's mostly gonna be in that agility because the other stats are in a good area. So I wanna see. Imagine that. If he scored from there, that would be naughty. Nicely done. Got a little switch here. Yeah, that's why this 3 4 one, 2 is so good. It's just the way that these guys get involved in the 18-yard box. Like, they get into the box with a cam is what made Juan Mata score there. Oh, that's the weak foot right there. It's a white time shot as well, so... Oh, nice try. Low percentage as well. It's when you're like too high or too low, they just don't really come off that great. White timed. I'm trying, dude. I'm shooting it to like the top corner. This guy just wants to shoot it in the middle. <laughs> it's the it's the long range shots, right? Like because you're not improving now with these chemistry styles. There we go. Nicely done, Juan Mata. Good stuff. Good stuff. Aw, oh, I wanted to try a finesse shot from a distance. Oh, I got way too close. I had to chip it there. I'll take that. Nice finish. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, that was a sick goal. Sick, sick goal. We'll take that. But guys, you can see that when I'm using him in the cam position, because his acceleration by default is high, he still involves himself on the pitch in the cam position. Um, the finisher chemistry style, you know, improving the shooting to be as good as possible while, you know, also improving the agility, I think is going to be the main thing for this card because of the way that his dribbling is formatted for everything else. Yeah, but even if you give him the finisher, guys, you could still see that, like, thing that he has on him with his dribbling. Of course. Oh, shoot! Oh. Oh, thank goodness I scored. I have to do all this extra stuff, man. Guys, this Juan Mata card, it's uh, it's unfortunate with the way that they formatted him because he actually is really good attacking AI-wise in the cam position. Passing is obviously great, but it's just that like his body type influences the card like strangely. Oh, green time, not even good. I just got a penalty from random commands popping off and it was annoying me, but <clears throat> on Mata, 99 penalties. Bang. Okay. I should be able to get like a he has like crazy free kicks. I just don't know how to hit it from this far. Like, 
do I do? Do I do that? You know what I'm saying? Like hit a, hit a curly or something? <laughs> L1R1. Unlock it. Oh my goodness. Try green shot from a distance. His long shots are like not great. Like if you're taking power strikes, don't even bother. <laughs> Unless you give him like a chemistry style boost. You actually have to hit like a finesse for it to be a little bit more like consistent, you know? Oh, hit the crossbar on that one. Oh. There we go. Oh, and I don't score that. No venom behind that strike, eh? It's crazy. A white time shot on his right foot. Nice lob pass. But I can't control the ball in this gameplay. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Juan Mata card. So, guys, I think that if most people get this card, they're going to be giving him a Hunter chemistry style to make him as usable as possible. Uh, for me personally, if I were to use him in the squad, I would just sacrifice the sprint speed not being there, use his acceleration for what it is, but only mainly use him in the cam position because attacking AI-wise, guys, he's actually pretty good. I don't mind it whatsoever. Uh, with the dribbling, this is why the Hunter wouldn't be a terrible option. Like, his dribbling is not really something you can improve. That's just a base thing of his, right? Like, even if I give him a finisher chemistry style, it still feels very, very weird. Even when the game plays not to par, guys, I can tell the difference. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been in this game for years, right? But on the finisher chemistry style, you know, me improving his agility, me improving his dribbling, even though he's five foot seven at a short and lean body type, you still feel it, right? But... I like the finisher chemistry style because of the finishing and shot power boost that you give the card while being able to work with finesse shots as much as possible, right? You could definitely still go for them in outside the 18 yard box. They still pop off nicely. Just don't go for like regular power strikes. Those are going to be a little bit more inconsistent, right? So, uh, yeah, it's just one of those types of cards where I do believe it's poorly formatted. Uh, for how the meta of FIFA plays out. I think a lot of people will mainly use this card in their team for sentimental value more than in-game quality. I could definitely see a lot of people uh, using him towards SBCs in the future because there's nothing too crazy about the card, but it has been improved to the point where it can be used in the game. Like I said, though, I just don't think it's a card that a lot of people will use on a consistent basis, you know? Um, but as a gameplay objective, you know, getting a Manchester United card for those people that are making those types of squads, you can't go wrong with. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.